Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the extra long run where we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which has been updated. Um, all right, well, let's get more details, shall we? So, added functionality to backup party formation, letting you save and load the class, arts, equipment, etc. set for all party members. You can access this feature by pressing plus in the main menu. Interesting, I like that. So, then you can have like, well this is your main setup if you're uh, fighting a major boss and uh, kind of running into issues. And this is your other setup for if you're, I don't know, farming or just kind of boosting stats, whatever you want to do. And then there's also DLC Volume 2, which I don't have the DLC yet, but I'm probably going to have it um, for the next stream, maybe? Which adds a new hero. So... That could be fun. But, for now, let's get back to the game. And last time... Uh, a lot of stuff happened. The Queen's a robot. Um, we were saved by some unknown third party? And also there's some collusion between Kenneth and Agnes? There's all sorts of things happening. And then I decided to kind of, um, go in a different direction and, uh, Uh, who am I gonna go with? I'm gonna go with Dinah. So, this is the famous Colony 4. I'm feeling like I could eat. Might as well, yeah? So we have some things to discuss, and uh, none of them have anything to do with what just happened. Because I'm also kind of chasing after a hero, and there's a lot of stuff that uh, we picked up along the way. Some of which from Napon, and some of which from the various uh, parties around this um, around this region. It does, though. It feels good to be clean, especially if you don't get a whole lot of opportunity to be clean. Like lands, you need a shower. <laughs> That's impressive. And also kind kind of gross. <laughs> I just want to How about these ether cylinders? You're in a place where you no longer have a flame clock. Oh yeah, and we we definitely have a couple. But we do need to find an ether chan. I don't know why we're being ex explained this, because uh use ether channel discover. Interesting. Put five ether cylinders into this. I don't think that's cost effective. Yeah, no. Exactly why nobody used. I mean, they do show up on the map, so at least there's that. Anyway, let's talk about these various 
um, party captains here. This is the best defense. Indeed. Although there, there is still, you know, the fact that um, <laughs> the gap, the gap between our level of experience and hers was a chasm. I think it was a chasm on our advantage. It wasn't really that close, guys. Allies would call me Iota. It's best we talk this through. Let's talk about Ryza. Call me Iota again. It was built like a castle, apparently. He is down. Happy go lucky by half. What does that mean? By way more than half. It's best we talk this. So hopefully, by uh, discussing this point, uh, this will give us another talking point because I think that's everyone. Um, out on the field, taken care of. <laughs> I already did set him flying. Am I being... <laughs> One second. That did not give me a talking point. Okay, ladies so and gents, that's the state of we're affairs. leaving. Alright, give me the area map. And it looks like the only one left, actually, is this one. Hmm. Is there another way around that? Uh, let's see. Well, it ain't gonna be here. I'm guessing this is not the way to go. Is that the airdrop that just dropped? I wonder if we can go anywhere from the uh, great hand here. I promise we'll get back into the main story very soon. I just want to get this quest line done, and it's just kind of taking me everywhere in this region. Come on, there we go. Oh, 
container. Oh, seriously? It's right there, but there's no way to it. Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. Yeah, that is annoying. Then the way to get to both of those... That's uh, probably going to kill me, actually, but... Well, maybe not. If I fall... Oh. How could I... Well... I asked for that one. <laughs> Starter was there. I think I can go around here. Oh, I could go around here. Hmm. This is something decent, right? Huh. Nope. <laughs> That's not the way to do it. <laughs> There's a way to get around this enormous construction. I just don't remember what it is. Anyway. There is a little bit of undiscovered land here. Let's just take care of the map. Stuck on the geometry because I can't see it. gonna walk right up right up to you I don't think I'm ready for that oh, that is a ladder going down I want a ladder going up and now I'm seeing the geometry and just running into it anyway That's a rattle aspar. It's an R aspar. Raspar. Yeah. This is not as good of a joke if Raspar isn't here. Reminds you of our march. Oh jeez. Right. Open thing. It looks like we're maxed out on gemstones, too. Anyway, I think that's uh, this little area here. Then I could have missed something, but I'm pretty sure that the only way that I'm gonna be able to get uh, to that last question mark is through Colony Iota, which I'm not a fan of.
discover as much of the map here as I can. Indeed, a container here. All right, it's open. You wish you to get wrecked. All right, though. I was just gonna walk on by, but uh, if you're ready, you like that. I'm not, a fa I'm not a fan of the fact that this class has a front and a back attack. That means having to move around a lot. Oh dear, I've caught aggro. Okay. Nice of an elite to drop by and uh, give us some combat bonuses. Shall we deal with it? What a surprise, the shear doesn't fear death. Facing this way. I do want. Oh, now you're facing this way. Great. Well, soon you'll be facing to the ground. Three battles so far, and two of them are. Stay that down I go. I intend to keep it together. I have my finger now on the on the intro link button, but uh, that ended up not mattering. Out. 
Saw a couple of rank ups there. Let me get this ether channel and I can uh, we should harvest this ether. check my uh, class ranks. I saw one at nine, so uh There's stuff over there. I don't think I'm going to be able to access. Got a good look at this map here. Levels under me, that means they are going to attack. One more level and they will not, but those will still do so for one more level after. These guys should be peaceful. I do wish there was a way to travel on the overworld faster. Is that going to be a safe drop? It is. Alright, this guy is about our level. This might be a tough fight. It's generally... Ow. At her level. Generally, uniques are going to uh, stay pretty difficult to fight for a good 10 levels. Actually, hit me. Wait until that flame goes out. And then uh, intro. And chain attack.
Ooh, that was really close to great, actually. Everyone gets reactivated for really into Sunshine. And that's gonna be a drama. So there is a travel point to Colony Iota. Let's just go ahead and use that because I think we are going to have to cut through. I'm not a fan of this, but uh, I don't see any other way to that question mark. I guess there was going to be at least one, like, free-form infiltration. <laughs> well, the game doesn't explicitly tell you this is what you need to do, but makes it clear enough that this is in fact what you need to do. To the other end. I'm glad we meet again, Uruboros. You seem quite sure of yourselves. I suppose your plan was to take the colony in one fell swoop? More or less. I enjoy being hunted. The hunter's role is more our speed. Our time is precious. If you insist on barring our way, we'll do what needs to be done, old compatriot or not. No need for speeches. Now is a time for action. I do hope you came prepared. All right, here's our hero quest. This is what I was looking for.
I like how there is absolutely no overlap between the heart follow up and the attack up. Now, where is your front? There we go. Ah! Time's over, you say. Oh, it totally can. It just happened. Phew! Made it through that somehow. How many times are we going to have to do this? I was just about to say that! Oh, hey, Consul E! A Consul! Manners, Kerr! That is Master E to you! Uh, I put a lot of effort into developing this drama, and now it's all wasted! Breaking! Her spirit, then fashioning her in my own image. She ought to have been my masterpiece! What's the pillet going on about? <laughs> Alexandra, my cherished game piece. You should have made it much farther. Who are you calling a piece? Neither her nor us will ever be what you want us to be. Oh, oh. <laughs> of course. And of course, you... That's just your role. Yeah, I'm getting that more and more. I think it's time for a quick rerun. No use for all of these imbecilic side characters. Return to your seats for Act Two. Carnage! The curtains are about to rise! Total Carnage! I love it! I could swear that this guy just said Osama Bin Laden. That cannot possibly have been the case, but it sure sounded like it. Oh, sure, is kind of uh, not having a good time. As is usual, I'm going to uh, gonna get the boss to halfway down and uh, oh, that was uh, that was flashy. Get 
Okay, I'm gonna get uh, gonna get Mobius E here down to half, and then hit the chain attack. Oh. There we go. And while everyone is still up, still in with the chain attack. So that's my end, so I'm gonna need Senna next. The Shira definitely needs that DL. Yeah. Like we got Senna, so it's gonna be lands and Senna at the end. Actually, it would have been to my advantage to uh, try to hold off on. Uh, on completing, on exceeding with uh, Senna, because if I had done one move more, uh, then I would have landed on a Shira, which would have guaranteed uh, amazing. Just keep healing a Shira. That's my point limit. Am I gonna get a bonus? No. But that's still a bravo. Well, that's not gonna finish him, but that, uh, that laid in a bunch of damage. This one has a Mobius plus effect. It does extra damage on Mobius. For now, but all this fighting really takes its toll on you. Oh, really? That's not how it looked from where I was standing. <gasps> I don't think you were standing. <laughs> and a big help, too. 
Wait, what's she saying? Dame Alex! Pretty sure she was saying she's tired of the console. I'm putting my foot down, only boring run of the mill plans from now on. This one gave me anxiety. Chicken. I said I was sorry. Don't cry. That's a cute name. So it all went down according to your calculations? Our goal was the defeat of the consul and to be released from his control. Though it was a long acquaintance we had, at least until we uncovered that lie of his. What was he lying about? It's a long story. But anyway, making an enemy of the consul would have been a big gamble for us too. So to weigh the risk, we had to figure out just how strong you lot actually were. So you used your friends and colony as bait. You thought if we were strong enough to deal with you all, we could stand up to the consul too. You seem bitter about it. But there must have been another way. Dispatch a scouting party or... Oh, come on. We'd all reach homecoming before we got anywhere like that. Sure, but see how much it cost you. It's not worth the sacrifices. There is no victory without sacrifice. If you fight according to those musty old textbooks, you'll always be too slow. You're an old-fashioned man, aren't you, Tyon? What? Dame Alex, I don't think they'll respond well to that line of exposition. Only Ouroboros can destroy our flame clock. Shouldn't we consider asking for their help instead of riding them up like that? I'm not riling up anyone. Just some gentle teasing among friends. Dame Alex doesn't actually believe the ends justify the means. You'll understand if you look closely at the colony and how things are here. What do you think? Might be good to look around before we enter into any partnerships. What if that's exactly what she wants you to think? Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, I'd like to trust her. She was quite open with us this far. Good grief. How did softies like you even survive this long? Dame Alex. <laughs> I'm sorry. I admit I may have crossed a line. <sighs> we'll have time to say goodbye to the old girl later. Come along. I'll show you how we fight here. So that's the state of affairs. And uh, before she shows us how we fight, I will say hello, some guy. Hope you're having a good night. And um, I need to use the bathroom, so I will be right back in like two minutes.
Alrighty. Oops. Well, I guess we're taking a walk. A very slow walk. Getting late. We should find somewhere to rest. Now we're in a colony. We're about to liberate it. I think this is a pretty good place. Ah, uh, got another one. Levinus repair parts? We got them, but no means of transport. Usual route goes the long way around. No. There's a colony we could route through. Those cylinders, we'll manage. We can add two days. We can make it on time. Prioritize speed. Start with light goods. That's the list there. I'll forward it on too. What do you know? They're really pro at that. They're not just regular soldiers. More like they're all officers. We're reading the flow of goods to learn of the war. It's a very flat hierarchy here, you'll find. Using a minimum of people to achieve maximum results. That's the way we like to fight. Of all the colonies in Ionios, we're a bit extreme in the way we use the cards. Pretty special, right? You mean the cards in the... Iris? Yes. They tell us what's needed as of right now. And it's an easy and efficient tool. But soldiers' wills and skills, on the other hand. Feeling useful makes you confident. Confidence teaches a soldier pride. Pride binds the team, fosters productivity. And leads a colony to victory. Right? As a result, we can invest ourselves in more research. And it takes us a step beyond. A step beyond. Well, I did propose them. It's quite basic. Wait, the Collectopedia cards? You made them? The castle folk developed them. All I did was to issue the request through the console. Meaning you made a deal with the castle? Surely that's not... I didn't do it lightly. It was necessary. Doing the same as everyone around you, it's always the same outcome. Following the playbook to the letter is hardly a strategy. And so I'm old-fashioned? You're not mad this time. I realized there was no ill will. We fight when we're confident. You and I, I think we're the same in that regard. I'm getting the impression that something must have changed you. Thank the previous commander for that. He was a rash type, like this big one. It winds you up, doesn't it? <laughs> I get what you Sword mean. Oi, what the spark? No matter what happens, you fight to keep everyone alive. And that, that's what makes a colony. All right, Alexandria. I understand you now. Do you think we'll be useful? Doesn't matter. I don't see people that way. Oh. Time to head back. We've unfinished business. That's right. Time is precious. Time is precious, and you're about to have all of the time in the world. Let's do this. So all that's left is to smash it, yeah? Yes. 
That way, Colony Iota will be free. I'll be honest. I'm not 100% on board with how you played this. I don't appreciate being manipulated. I'm sorry about tricking you before. I really do regret it. Yeah? What's to say you're not tricking us even now? Insolence! Damn. I'm sorry about lands, but I would like to know what exactly your goal is here. When you think about rules, you have to realize that they are closely entangled with the intentions of whoever set them. I don't suppose you'll believe me, but I just want to see what life's like outside of those confines. No. I believe you. From everything you've told us, I can see how serious you are. Thank you. And I'm counting on you. Let's keep it on the straight and narrow from now on. Interesting choice of words. Lands? <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm sure she's got nothing else left to hide now anyway. Uh, love? She's still hiding stuff. Dame Alex? No, I've got this. I'm... I'm not as old as I might seem. So, I don't quite have the authority you might think yet. You don't... Wait... Which term are you in? Sick? What? Shut up, you cannot be sixth term. Hush, not so loud. I thought for sure we were the same term. You just have this dignity about you. I work really hard for that, you know? <laughs> Some colonies plan surprise attacks if they work out the timing of when the next generation of soldiers rolls over. And also, well, you know, reasons. What reasons? Dame Alex thinks she looks too young, so she likes to put on a touch of cosmetics to give her features extra character. That was not public information. <laughs> you were just gonna leave them all guessing otherwise. Not really what I expected. Well, that's your fault for assuming, isn't it? Having presence is important for a commander. I mean, you're not this wrong. might be going over my head, but it sounds like a struggle. <sighs> for your information, the only ones who know this are my team chiefs and Chickadee. And this is us. one secret I expect you to take with you unto homecoming. We understand. We won't tell anyone. All right, here we go. Trying to get this matter of business done. Bam! It's another flame clock down. And Agnes' warning goes up to level three. So that uh, completes the hero quest, Her Reasons. The party bore witness to Alexandra's ingenuity for her survival and got a glimpse of her situation. They agreed to keep her being a sixth termer top secret. If you have my back, I've got yours. So now we've got access to Incursor Alexandria. And I'm going to guess that the class inheritor is probably going to be Taya. Right on. Alexandria's class. Class in cursor. Roll attacker. Damage increases with each critical hit, but beware as the damage bo damage bonus resets upon incapacitation. Interesting that they're talking about column four. Also call me nine. I guess it's good to uh, to know about the enemy, right? Because these guys are Agnes after all. What's the media cards? So I guess you can monitor other colonies collectopedias, even though they might be from the enemy faction. I don't know. 
So what would it be doing here? Some new names registered. So that's the state of affairs. See if you've got anything Best that uh, I don't have. Oh, you got a lot of things I don't have. As typical, sitting by the Aegis wilderness forms of insert. We have some new names registered. Don't you think it's about time for a it. meal? Ha! Huh. The next delivery is going to Colony Four. I should write this all down. I'm sure you're all I mean, I guess now. maybe they're looking at Colony 4 because of the fact that uh, they've been liberated. Now they're, they're pretty much seeing all of the liberated colonies as a new faction unto themselves. We have some new names registered. Lexi. Another quest over there. I'm not really going to prioritize quests, honestly. But I will at least pick them up. What's going on over here? Gratitude for your courageous work here. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the possibilities. What's this? Everyone having a grand old time? Ah, yeah, I guess he didn't know about this. Today's Harvest Day. It only happens once a month. What's Harvest Day? It's an evaluation day, basically. Every month we evaluate soldiers on their cooperation, boldness, and results. It's a day for us to show our appreciation of the soldiers who contribute the most to the colony. I'd be straight with you. In my book, evaluations are pretty much the exact opposite of fun. Oh, it's not the evaluation everyone's looking forward to. The chosen soldiers get to ask for anything they want. What, well, like anything? Like cured almond sirloin? Or some sea foam soup? Anything. Within the realms of possibility, of course. Sparks alive, that sounds wicked! And next we have. Misaka of Sequoia's team. Is Misaka here? Hey, you don't think she's still in the intel analysis suite, do you? She might be, yeah. Probably clean forgot today was the day. But I did tell her in advance. Shall we go, shall we go get her? You can keep go, the show going, yeah? I couldn't ask you to go through all that trouble. You don't mind. You, you, just, keep, you, you just keep doing your job. Well, if you're assisting, thank you so much. Then could you give this to her? Or say Tiara. You don't have to give it to her in person? 
Sequoia, Sequoia's team, uh, Sequoia's team's really busy at the moment. I wonder if there's uh, something going on with them. They won't mind, I'm sure. Just tell them I sent you. All right, I'll go. I wouldn't mind talking to Misaka myself. Can I leave you to take care of things on your end? On a day's walk. We have some new names registered. So that's the state of affairs. He's problem tuckered out. Uh, how could this? Just can't. It's also. Mm -hmm. She's asleep. Yeah. Yeah. What's it? Enemy raid? I think she's awake now. The Dame Alex. What'd she just do to her? I understand opening up acupuncture points is one way to relieve fatigue. Yeah, and so is a punch in the Kessa. You may have been selected for Harvest Day, right? You should have been notified already. Oh, now I remember. I thought I'd had a, I thought I'd have a little nap till it was time. Oh no, the award ceremony is now. Yeah, okay, pause your ponies. Why do you think we come all this way? Here you go. Oh. Yay, I did it! Now I can get my luxury shampoo! Take these sense of regards and all that guff. Congratulations! Thanks! Try not to oversleep in future. If this was a battlefield, you'd be dead. Ah, sorry. You've done some sterling work. I'm expected good things from you in the future, too, Misaka. Yes, ma'am. I won't. I won't let you down. Anyway, you'll have to excuse me. There's procedure to follow. Good shampoo is hard to come by. Harvest day is the, about the only chance to get your hands on it. Sorry for the inconvenience. Not at all. It's been an enlightening experience. How long have you had this evaluation system in place? Well, since Chickadee arrived, I think, so for two years now. About the same time as Colony Iota started to distinguish itself. Girl's not much of a fighter, but she really excels at this kind of thing. Anyway, if you want to know more about how it all works, you should ask Chickadee yourself. That makes sense. We need to report back to about Misaka anyway. Let's get back to Chickadee. Well, the pathing was doing weird things there for a second. Good work with everything, Chickadee. We gave the TR to uh, back to we give the TR to Misaka. All the awards have been given out. Thank you so much for your help. You said Sequoia's team was busy. Well, it looks like it's taken its toll on Misaka. Following Galactopedia card movements takes great patience and concentration. That's why I wanted to make something like Harvest Day to show people that their hard work was appreciated. Ah, so the evaluation system was your idea. It was. It somehow made it come to fruition with Dame, Dame Alex's backing. If all we wanted was an evaluation system, the flame clock and homecoming would have done the job just fine. But you have to wait so long to see results that way. I wanted something a bit more immediate. Good way to improve soldiers' skills. It serves a direct personal benefit and stops people from losing heart. I'm not really one of nature's fighters, but if this is one way I can support the colony, then I'll do it with pride. Now the colony's been freed, I can do so much more. Thank you, everyone. Upon finding Misaka, the party handed her the, tia uh, the tiara. The Harvest Day evaluation system seems to have been chickadee like.
Um, let's go ahead and discuss the couple of things that I've picked up around camp, and then I will move on to... Uh, uh, you okay there, Lens? You seem to be caught in a glitch. There you go. Oh, nice. <laughs> so that's the state of affairs. It's a bit hard dealing with people like that sometimes, but uh, it can be worth it. Everyone, get some rest. Yes. Let's go ahead and discuss the things that we picked up so far. It's best we talk this through. She sure did. And of course, it seems like Kevis and Agnes are kind of in cahoots. So. Uh, Agnes got those, Kenneth's got them too. This might get complicated. But there's something about the Colony Fall resource problem that I've been thinking about. Alexandria, what did you help? That's a bit of a rude question. Colony 4 is an ally. They've been released from the flame block. I don't need an excuse to help an ally, do I? Yes, I can understand you're sharing resources with them, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is, how does an Agnian colony know so much about resource, uh, resource shortages of a Kavesi one? That's what you're going to say. That's what I was wondering, too. <laughs> There's no putting anything past you. Information is easy to come by if you know how, and I always stay up to date. You're, saying you you have an in you're not saying you have an inside mind, are you? I wouldn't take that much of a risk. I'm just doing the same as you. Here, this is how. This is a Collectopedia card. I told you, didn't I? I came up with them. Did you think I can only see my own army's information? Wait, but wait. You're saying that you leaked secret Agnes tech to get Kevis to use it as well? Huh. At the time, I just thought we got really lucky. When all along was a ploy to dig up enemy intel, I have to say I'm impressed. The important, part, the important part comes after that. While analyzing the flow of resources, I realize that this war is almost perfectly balanced. Almost like it doesn't want to end. Which is to say there's someone orchestrating the war from behind the scenes. When you think about rules, you have to realize that they are closely entangled with the intentions of whoever set them. Your words, Alexandria. This is what you were talking about, isn't it? You worked out that much. Didn't try didn't exactly try and blow the whistle, did you? What else could I do? What could anybody what could anybody have done, even had they known? Then Or Rose appeared, the world's enemy. And the enemy of one's enemy is one's friend, right? I'm glad you understand. Hope you're not friendly with uh, with your actions as well as your words. Cold as ever. Okay, how about this? I'll show you the storehouse, the colony of uh, the heart of Colony Iota itself. Take whatever supplies you need and use them as you will. There. You're saying we have final say over resource distribution. Well, you'll have to discuss the particulars of storehouse management with Chell, but yes. I appreciate the sentiment, or we wouldn't feel right. Whoops, already pinged her. Already? She doesn't have much spare time, so you better get hustling. The storehouse is a bit hard to give directions to, so first just head for Taurus Hollow. Just talk to Ryza at the entrance and, she and uh, he'll let you in. Enemies and allies. And before we go, 
Do people have to make so much noise? Yes. Yes, they do. Let's go ahead and what have, do we have here? Oof, all finished. And that gives uh, Manana a new the idea. World still has its delights. That was refreshing. Of course, I say I'm not going to spend too much time on these quests. And then what do I do? Head toward a quest mother. The adorable little white things. I'm sure you're talking about Tyon. A <laughs> back scratcher, really? Mondo. Interesting. Zawaru no. Sweet, let's poke around. Cool that an, an potential enemy just kind of popped up there. Very unceremoniously. Looks like we got some black fog in the area. Whoa, check this place out. Huh. I also see a husk over there. A new location. Huh. I'm sure it's not new for you. Should be peaceful, and you also. Oh, geez. Oh, my goodness. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ah. Well, crap. That kind of sucked. And I didn't tag any other uh, landmarks, so gotta start all the way from back here. Let's map this out here, since we're back here. And I didn't realize that. Uh, there was a level 60-something dude right there. Let's try to take a wider arc around this time, which will also help me uh, map everything out. And also reveal this uh, very convenient landmark right next to this hole. Hmm. There's a shiny thing over there, and I want it. I'm not gonna get this without fighting, so. Smooth as ever? You say that as though we've been fighting alongside each other for for a long time. We really haven't. Great work, Noah. 
getting a bit meatier. All right. There's a husk right there, actually. We can't just leave this be. That big old cave right here. Far out that is. Judging by those supplies, we have a fair amount of topographic data. Is I would expect Philly to be there. Judging by those supplies, I would expect Philly to be there. Yeah, you just said that. This is the third time you've said this. Shall we go have a look then? Hmm. Hopefully the fact that I'm that I am leaving a gap there is gonna be enough of an indication to me that uh, I need to explore there a little more later. You know, I need to work to watch out for this large friend over here. This will fetch a high price. Very large concentrations of black fog here. I imagine that the the storehouse is probably going to be a um, a landmark. So uh, that morning air, morning air, just completely overpowered by the black fog around here. I wonder what's around here. Oh, that's a. Large fellow. Level 74 unique if that is one of the supers. Be at rest. And thank you, Mia. Wait. I did tag that, uh... This will fetch a high price. Yeah, I did. Okay. 
I, I imagine like it shows up on the map. I have tagged it, and I'm able to return to there. He looks angry. Is, is he angry? He's just not very expressive, is all. Still cute though, just like an Arden. <laughs> Hmm. Is he mad at us? Ryza, let's chat. You're scaring Senna. Sorry, not a talker. Oh, I see. We were the monsters. M monsters? The storehouse is a little way out from here, so a little infestation is to be expected. It's hard to find, and the monsters save, uh, save on guard duties. Could say they're the perfect anti-theft device. Risky business. Right, I see. Well, be careful. How's Chell? And Dame Alex? Yes. Be nice. I'm nice. You don't have to tell me. Don't bother yourself with me. Come on, then. Let's get moving. So that's the state of affairs. I am a man of few words. Any questions? Now, if we could find a camp, like specifically a camp and not a canteen, we'd be able to uh, apply. Oh, geez. We'd be able to apply our uh, bonus experience and not have to fight these guys. That was spectacular. And oh my goodness. Anyone else? Yeah. If only you didn't charge off on your own. I don't get how a guy can be so calm. That was spectacular. And I was the MVP. You're all thinking it. Plans sit down. Naturally, since this is not the way to go, this is totally the way I'm going. Interesting that two of those were level 41 and they still aggroed. Just as we were finishing the fight. Come after me and that's 
take what you get. <sighs> if only you didn't charge off on your own. Oh hey, there's a shiny over there. I would not have seen that if this uh, scary thing had not engaged. So, thanks for that. Right. Let's push on. Actually, pick it up. I'll hang on to it. What would it be doing here? I still have no idea what these are, by the way. This will fetch a high price. And they've got to be used for something, but what? I don't know. Oh! And I accidentally attacked this guy instead of, uh... The unique that uh, is fighting us. So I guess let's get rid of this guy first. The 43 vampire guy. There are four enemies on us right now, and this is not particularly pleasant. Alexander is down. And that's, that's the fight. Oh, that went poorly. Huh? Hear that? That's another airdrop. Supply drop. Looks like we might get lucky. You might say he has very ardent behavior. Huh? Right? Yeah? Well, that's the stream. Thanks for watching. that container. All right. it's okay. However, we're not getting away without fighting this guy. I was hoping that we could. The stream lives still. That is good to know.
Why is it a bit of a stubborn in here? That's weird. This'll fetch a high price. You know what this almost feels like right now? Hunt the Wumpus. There's a series of caves and one of them has a Wumpus in it. And that Wumpus just killed us earlier. Depending on how you decide to turn around and when, I might be able to just bypass you. Shall we deal with this? Okay, I guess not. By the way, this is not the bonus. But it's still gonna be nasty. Yeah, at least this is level 60, exactly. I mean, that bat, that vampire bat, also wasn't level 60. It was just surrounded by a lot of small dudes and that kind of flanked us out of existence. to master an art, at least one rank up came out of that. And Neo is maximum uh, class here. I'll keep us safe from harm. Should be at least one more. So I'm, I just put in a uh, Basically swapped out a healer for a tank, so I'll do the same on that end. Oh, and... Um, So I get the feeling like this just kind of uh, brought us out more or less at, uh, oh, well, maybe not actually. Yeah, because we didn't have access to this before. Quite a way to go for a storehouse, though. So this is the storehouse. Queen's flapping wings. All this stuff is yours. Yep, yeah, and we're not at full capacity. 
Let me introduce you. This is Chell, our storehouse manager extraordinaire. So Chell, everything should be as previously discussed. As of now, our friends here are, are on resource distribution. Why by me? It needs to be done. The more surveillance, the better. Who's surveilling who? Only if you're surveilling me, of course. When you're living under the flame clock, your allies and enemies are clear. Whoever you can get the fire from is your enemy, as simple as that. But we can't live by those rules anymore. Enemies and allies. They change depending on who you are on who you they, they change depending on you yourself. That's the difficulty, isn't it? Both in conflict is just one effect of the flame clock. Couldn't we also say that the flame clock's controlled our behavior? That's it. The time's right for traitors to emerge, so it's dangerous for any one person to hold too much power. Do you doubt your own comrades too, that much? Of course I don't doubt them. I know they can get the job done. We're all pretty brilliant here. So the only thing that counts in your eyes is ability. Let me ask you then. Would you trust some researcher... Uh, would you trust some researcher sat at their desk all day with some manual labor? Would you put a soldier who couldn't pilot a bathtub in the cockpit of Elevenus? Personal skill is what counts in tactics. As long as you believe in that, that's enough. Does anyone disagree? Alexandria, you... She's the right pain, isn't she? You had to rest, shall. But I think it's a wise assessment. No one knows how things are going to change. Keep an eye on me or not. I'm with Dame Alex, that's all. You really care for Alexandria, don't you? I do, a lot. But I'm 10th term, not got much time left. Dame Alex needs mo allies more than anything. Please be good to her. You shouldn't talk like that. How about what time you have left? I suppose you're right. I would be more impressed by anyone that can pilot a bathtub, <laughs> given that it has no control. It has no movement controls. It does have controls. It has hot and cold water and also drain. Didn't take. Didn't mean to talk for this long. Anyway, about calling you full resources. Chris just got to do this. What was that? Got access to the goods. You could think of it as unlocking a new function of the Collectopedia cards. You really packed the features, didn't you? It's nice to see you surprised. This isn't surprise, it's a shock. It's pretty user friendly. It's pretty user friendly. Just name the commander of the colony you want to send to. Just then just pick your supplies, then done. The colony falls commander. No need to worry. Sullivan arranged with Boliaris, the acting commander. You can use his name in this instance. It's easier to get it by doing, to be honest. Give it a go. So that's the state of affairs. Containing the panic with minimal interference. Indeed. So use the Collectopedia card to send over supplies to call on 4. That's under quests. Uh, call me 4. So... Alright. There we go, Boliaris. A taste of real human connection. Yep, everything went through, no problem. You've got authority about over about half of the resources in this room. How you divvy up how you divvy it up is absolutely up to you. We're trusting you to distribute it according to the common good. Common what now? 
to each colony according to the to its need, isn't it? We scratch their back. They scratch ours in the future. It's like an investment that'll pay dividends to us later. Collectopedia cards can now be used to send supplies to other colonies. Alexandria and the others consider it a worthwhile investment. So that gives us 15 colony iota goods. Think carefully about how you're going to use them. There are the colonies that you think need uh, that you think need wood them the most. I think they might have uh, messed up the grammar on that. Which takes me to today's sponsor. Nobody, because I don't do sponsors. Anyway. We have a fair amount of topographic data. We sure do. Oh, really? But I actually can't get out of this cave until I actually get out of this cave. Let me take a look at this little nook here. There's probably nothing here. But I just want to go on the map. This was a nice find. So, I've done a couple of quests now for Colony Iota. I think I'm good as far as that goes. And as soon as we're out of this cave, we're gonna, we're gonna head back over to Cadencia region and uh, start making our way towards Sword March, finally. I appreciate that this uh, this game has. Um, I'm not gonna worry about you. Yeah, I appreciate that this game has uh, basically like auto run. Like, click down the left stick and it just keeps running in the current direction. The only problem I have with it is that it's hard to actually stop it. You basically have to run the opposite direction in order to stop it. Out of my way. I'm not interested in fighting, I just want to. There we go. We are out of the cave. Hmm. Supposedly there are, there's also us nearby? Might have to approach from the top though. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I forget if that was an incoming or an outgoing point for this uh, zip line here, but uh, also I do want to move the story forward sometime today, so. It is nice of the Xenoblade series in general to let you just change the time. Uh, it's only some of the later games that actually let you um, change the time from anywhere. But at least since Xenoblade Cross, 
you've been able to just change it from at least somewhere. So now we're in the uh, Kevis Castle region. Great Sword Furrow will take us into the Condensia region. But uh, for the time being, it's vital to keep a record of events. I do believe that is the wrong button. That is what I believe. I believe it's time for break. It is not time to end the stream just yet. But um, yeah, so uh, y'all can uh, take a moment, uh, go to the bathroom, get a drink. I keep saying those in the wrong order. Please don't get a drink in the bathroom. Um, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And finally, after all of this time, after the break, we are, as far as I can tell, on the stretch to, on the home stretch to Sword March. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.